Today I am going to explain to you in a detailed but easy to understand way everything about each of the members of the Straw Hat Pirates. If you like this type of video, support it with a like button and a subscription. Let's get started. Vivi, often referred to simply as Vivi, is a princess of the Alabasta Kingdom and a former temporary member of the Straw Hat Pirates. Although she officially left the crew to stay in Alabasta and fulfill her royal duties, she remains a close ally and dear friend to Luffy and the others. Vivi initially joined the Straw Hats under the alias Miss Wednesday, working as an undercover agent within Baroque Works, a criminal organization led by Crocodile. Her goal was to gather information and stop Crocodile's plans to overthrow her kingdom. During her time with the Straw Hats, Vivi formed strong bonds with the crew and proved herself to be courageous and resourceful. As a princess, Vivi possesses natural leadership and diplomatic skills. She managed to persuade Zoro and Nami to protect her from Baroque Works agents after her true identity was revealed. Her ability to keep the more childish members of the crew focused and motivated showcased her determination and resolve. Vivi's time with the Straw Hats was marked by significant personal growth and numerous adventures. She demonstrated her bravery and commitment to her people by participating in the battles against Baroque works, even when facing formidable opponents like Mr. Five and Miss Valentine. Her determination to save her kingdom from Crocodile's tyranny highlighted her selflessness and dedication. After the events of the Alabasta Arc, Vivi decided to stay behind and help rebuild her country, declining Luffy's offer to continue sailing with the Straw Hats. Despite this, she remains an honorary member of the crew, and the Straw Hats continue to regard her as one of their own. Her friendship with the crew is symbolized by the X-shaped mark on her arm, a symbol of their bond and shared adventures. Vivi's dream is to bring peace and prosperity to Alabasta, ensuring that her kingdom thrives under her leadership. She works tirelessly to achieve this goal, leveraging the lessons and experiences she gained during her time with the Straw Hats. Vivi's strength lies not only in her combat abilities, but also in her unwavering resolve and compassion. Her ability to inspire and lead her people makes her a beloved figure in Alabasta and a respected ally to the Straw Hat Pirates. Vivi's story with the Straw Hats may have come to a temporary end, but her impact on the crew and her determination to create a better future for her kingdom continue to resonate. She remains a symbol of hope and resilience, embodying the spirit of adventure and friendship that defines the Straw Hat Pirates. Jinbei, also known as Knight of the Sea, is a master of Fishman Karate and the helmsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. He is the tenth member of the crew and the ninth to join officially becoming a straw hat during the Wano Country arc. Jinbei is a whale shark fish man and a former warlord of the sea, known for his strength, honor, and deep sense of duty. Before joining the Straw Hat Pirates, Jinbei was the second captain of the Sun Pirates, a crew founded by Fisher Tiger. He later became a warlord of the sea, a position he held for several years before resigning in protest against the world government's actions. Jinbei's bounty is currently 438 million bellies, reflecting his significant power and influence. Jinbei's combat abilities are exceptional, combining his fishman physiology with his mastery of fishman karate. This martial art allows him to manipulate water as a weapon, creating powerful shockwaves and attacks even in air. Jinbei's strength and resilience enable him to battle formidable opponents, including other warlords, marines, and Yonko commanders. Jinbei's loyalty and sense of justice are defining traits of his character. He initially allied with the Straw Hats during the Impel Down and Marineford arcs, where he played crucial roles in helping Luffy and his allies. Jinbei's decision to officially join the crew came after witnessing Luffy's determination and the crew's camaraderie, recognizing that their goals aligned with his own principles. As the helmsman of the Thousand Sunny, Jinbei's expertise in navigation and ship handling are invaluable. His skills ensure that the Straw Hat Pirates can traverse the dangerous waters of the New World with greater safety and precision. Jinbei's presence significantly bolsters the crew's capabilities, both in and out of combat. During the Whole Cake Island arc, Jinbei's bravery and strategic thinking were on full display. He confronted Big Mom and her crew, aiding the Straw Hats in their escape from Tato Land. 
His actions demonstrated his commitment to his new crewmates and his willingness to stand against even the most formidable foes. Jinbei's dream is closely tied to his desire for peace and equality between humans and fishmen. He seeks to honor the legacy of Fisher Tiger and Queen Otohimi by promoting understanding and cooperation between the two races. His journey with the Straw Hat Pirates represents a step towards achieving this vision as he fights for a world where all can coexist in harmony. Jinbei's strength, wisdom, and unwavering sense of justice make him an essential member of the Straw Hat Pirates, contributing both his combat prowess and his experience to their quest to reach Raftel and fulfill their dreams. Brook, also known as the Soul King, is the musician of the Straw Hat Pirates. He is the ninth member of the crew and the eighth to join, doing so during the Thriller Bark arc. Brook is a living skeleton who gained his current form after eating the Yomi Yomi no Mi Revive Revive fruit, a Paramecia-type devil fruit that allows him to return to life after death. Brook's unique ability to come back to life after dying provided him with a second chance at life, although his soul took so long to find his body that it had decayed to a skeleton by the time he was revived. Despite his skeletal appearance, Brooke retains his original personality, sense of humor, and musical talent. Brooke's combat abilities are enhanced by his devil fruit powers, which allow his soul to leave his body and interact with the physical world. He can also perform various soul-based attacks, such as the Soul Solid technique, which combines his fencing skills with the chilling power of the underworld. Brooke's agility and speed, coupled with his swordsmanship, make him a formidable opponent in battle. As the musician of the crew, Brooke's primary role is to provide entertainment and morale-boosting music for his crewmates. His performances are renowned across the world, earning him the stage name, Soul King. Brooke's musical talents also play a strategic role in battle, as he can use his music to affect the emotions and actions of both allies and enemies. Brooke's bounty stands at 83 million bellies, reflecting his significant contributions to the crew's victories and his reputation as a powerful and entertaining pirate. During the time skip, Brooke further honed his skills, gaining the ability to project his soul even further and use it to perform reconnaissance or provide support from a distance. One of Brooke's most notable feats occurred during the whole Cake Island arc, where he played a crucial role in the Straw Hat's infiltration of Big Mom's territory. Brooke successfully obtained copies of Big Mom's Pwn Glyphs, crucial to finding the location of Raftel, Laugh Tale, the final island of the Grand Line. He also demonstrated his combat prowess by holding his own against powerful foes, including Big Mom herself. Brooke's dream is to reunite with Laboon, a giant whale he befriended before his original crew's demise. This dream drives his determination to sail to the end of the Grand Line and fulfill his promise to Laboon. Brooke's blend of musical talent, combat skills, and indomitable spirit make him an invaluable member of the Straw Hat Pirates, always ready to lift his crewmates' spirits and fight for their shared dreams. Frankie, also known as Cyborg Frankie, is the shipwright of the Straw Hat Pirates. He is the eighth member of the crew and the seventh to join, doing so during the Water 7 arc. Frankie is a highly skilled craftsman and engineer responsible for constructing and maintaining the crew's ship, the Thousand Sunny. Originally born as Cutty Flam, Frankie was abandoned by his family and later taken in by Tom, a legendary shipwright who built the Oro Jackson, the ship of the Pirate King, Gull D. Roger. Under Tom's tutelage, Frankie honed his shipbuilding skills. After a tragic incident where Tom was taken by the world government, Frankie was severely injured and rebuilt his body using various mechanical parts, transforming himself into a cyborg. Frankie's mechanical enhancements grant him incredible strength, durability, and a range of unique abilities. His cyborg body houses numerous weapons and tools, such as the Strong Right, a powerful extendable arm, Frankie Fireball, a flamethrower, and Frankie Radical Beam, a powerful laser. These enhancements make Frankie a formidable combatant, capable of taking on powerful enemies. Frankie's contributions to the crew go beyond his combat abilities. As the shipwright, he designed and built the Thousand Sunny, a state-of-the-art ship equipped with various innovative features, including the soldier dock system, 
the Gaon Cannon, and the coup de burst. His engineering prowess ensures that the Thousand Sunny remains in top condition, capable of withstanding the perils of the Grand Line and the New World. After the two-year time skip, Frankie's strength and skills have grown exponentially. He returned with a series of upgrades to his cyborg body, making him even more powerful and versatile in battle. Frankie's current bounty stands at 94 million bellies, reflecting his significant contributions to the crew and their numerous exploits. During the Dressrosa arc, Frankie demonstrated his enhanced capabilities by piloting the General Frankie, a massive mecha he constructed to defeat powerful foes like Baby Five and Buffalo. His combat prowess was further highlighted during the raid on Onigashima, where he battled Sasaki, one of the Tobiropo, and emerged victorious despite facing an opponent with an ancient Zoan-type devil fruit. Frankie's dream is to create a ship that can sail to the end of the Grand Line, fulfilling the legacy of his mentor, Tom. His dedication to this dream drives his continuous pursuit of innovation and improvement in his craft. Frankie's blend of engineering genius, combat strength, and unwavering loyalty makes him an indispensable member of the Straw Hat Pirates, always ready to support his crew and achieve their shared goals. Nico Robin, known as the Devil Child, is the archaeologist of the Straw Hat Pirates. She is the seventh member of the crew and the sixth to join, doing so during the Alabaster Arc. Robin is a former member of Baroque Works, an organization she left after realizing her dream could be fulfilled alongside the Straw Hats. Robin's most notable ability is her power to read and interpret poneglyphs, ancient stone tablets that contain important historical information, including the location of the three ancient weapons and the true history of the Void Century. This rare skill makes her an invaluable asset to the crew and a significant threat to the world government, which has placed a high bounty on her head. Robin's bounty initially rose to 79 million bellies when she was just a child due to her ability to read the poneglyphs and her association with the O'Hara incident. Currently, her bounty stands at 130 million bellies, reflecting her continued importance and the threats she poses to those who wish to keep the Void Century's secrets hidden. Robin's background is marked by tragedy. She grew up on the island of O'Hara, where she was ostracized for her abilities and eventually became the sole survivor of a Buster Call, an extreme military action ordered by the world government to obliterate O'Hara for its pursuit of forbidden knowledge. This traumatic past has made Robin cautious and wary, yet she found a new family and purpose with the Straw Hats. Robin's combat abilities are formidable, thanks to the powers of the Hana Hana no Mi, Flower Flower Fruit, a paramecia-type devil fruit that allows her to sprout multiple body parts, including entire limbs from any surface. This ability grants her immense versatility in both offense and defense, enabling her to subdue multiple foes simultaneously, spy on conversations from a distance, and protect her crew. During the time skip, Robin trained with the Revolutionary Army, further honing her abilities and becoming even stronger. Her skills and confidence have grown significantly, as demonstrated in her battles against powerful enemies like Black Maria of the Beast Pirates. Robin's victory over Black Maria showcased her enhanced combat techniques and strategic mind, proving her to be a critical fighter in addition to her scholarly pursuits. Robin's dream is to uncover the true history of the world by finding and deciphering the Rio Poneglyph, which will lead to the final island, Raftel, Laugh Tale. Her pursuit of knowledge and truth drives her journey, making her an indispensable member of the Straw Hat Pirates. Robin's intelligence, strength, and determination to uncover the world's hidden history make her an invaluable ally and a key figure in the ongoing struggle against the world government's suppression of truth. If you have reached this point in the video, you can subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Let's continue with the video. Tony Tony Chopper affectionately known as Cotton Candy Lover Chopper, is the doctor of the Straw Hat Pirates. He is a reindeer who gained human-like intelligence and abilities after eating the Hito Hito no Mi, human-human fruit, a Zoan-type, devil fruit. Chopper is the sixth member of the crew and the fifth to join, doing so during the Drum Island arc. As the crew's doctor, Chopper's primary role is to ensure the health and well-being of his crewmates. 
He possesses extensive medical knowledge and skills, which he continually hones to provide top-notch care. Chopper's medical expertise is complemented by his ability to create and administer effective treatments, even in the most challenging situations. Despite his small and adorable appearance, Chopper is a formidable fighter. Thanks to his devil fruit, he can transform into various forms, each suited for different purposes. These transformations are enhanced by his Rumble Ball, a special drug he developed that allows him to access additional forms temporarily. Chopper's various forms include his Walk Point, Reindeer Form, Brain Point, his original hybrid form, Heavy Point, a large, muscular form, and several others that provide unique combat and utility benefits. Initially considered part of the Weakling Trio, along with Nami and Usopp, Chopper's two-year training on the Torino Kingdom significantly enhanced his combat abilities. He learned to control his Monster Point, a gigantic and incredibly powerful form that was previously uncontrollable. This development allowed Chopper to become a more reliable and potent fighter, capable of holding his own against strong opponents. During the whole Cake Island arc, Chopper's tactical acumen was on full display when he and Carrot devised a clever plan to deceive and defeat Charlotte Brulé. Chopper's quick thinking and adaptability were crucial in navigating the complex and dangerous situations they faced. Chopper's bounty, initially a mere 50 bellies due to his cute appearance, has since increased to 100 berries, still humorously low compared to his true value to the crew. This underestimation often works to his advantage, allowing him to catch enemies off guard. Chopper's dream is to find a panacea that can cure any illness, a goal inspired by his mentor, Dr. Hilluluk. His dedication to this dream drives his continuous pursuit of medical knowledge and improvement. Chopper's blend of medical expertise, combat prowess, and endearing personality makes him an indispensable member of the Straw Hat Pirates, always ready to protect and heal his friends. Usopp, known as God Usopp, is the sniper of the Straw Hat Pirates. He is the fourth member of the crew and the third to join, doing so at the end of the Syrup Village arc. Usopp is known for his incredible marksmanship, creativity, and resourcefulness, often using these skills to overcome his physical limitations. While Usopp may not possess the same raw strength as some of his crewmates, he compensates with his ingenuity and tactical acumen. His endurance and willpower are impressive allowing him to withstand significant damage in battle and continue fighting despite severe injuries. Usopp's resilience was demonstrated during his fights with powerful opponents, such as Mr. Four and Miss Merry Christmas in Alabasta, where he endured brutal attacks yet managed to prevail. Usopp's journey has seen him grow from a timid and often cowardly individual into a brave and dependable warrior. His character development is marked by his unwavering determination to achieve his dream of becoming a brave warrior of the sea, just like his father, Yasop, a member of the Red-Haired Pirates. Usopp's skills extend beyond sniping. He is also an adept inventor and craftsman. He creates various gadgets and weapons, such as the Pop Greens, which are plant-based ammunition with diverse effects. These inventions have proven invaluable in numerous battles giving the Straw Hats an edge in combat. During the Water 7 and Eni's lobby arcs, Usopp demonstrated his tenacity and loyalty to the crew, fighting bravely despite overwhelming odds. His actions earned him his first bounty of 30 million bellies under the alias Soga King. This persona allowed Usopp to step into a more confident role and confront powerful enemies head on. Usopp's growth continued in the New World, where he awakened his Kenbun Shoku Haki observation hockey during the Dress Rosa arc. This ability allowed him to sense the presence and emotions of others, enhancing his sniping capabilities. With this newfound power, Usopp played a crucial role in the battle against the Don Quixote pirates, sniping sugar from an incredible distance to save his allies. Usopp's current bounty stands at 200 million bellies, reflecting his significant contributions to the crew and their numerous victories. Despite his fears and insecurities, Usopp consistently rises to the occasion, embodying the courage and resourcefulness that define the Straw Hat Pirates. Sanji, also known as Blackleg Sanji, is one of the Straw Hat Pirates' top three fighters, 
along with Luffy and Zoro, forming what is known as the Monster Trio. He is the crew's cook and a master martial artist, renowned for his powerful kicks and combat skills. Sanji joined the Straw Hats during the Bharati arc and is the fifth member of the crew. Sanji was raised as a prince of the Jerma Kingdom, a powerful and militaristic family known as the Vinsmoke family. Despite being genetically modified by his father to possess superhuman abilities, Sanji's modifications were suppressed by his mother's intervention, leaving him to grow up as an ordinary human. This led to severe mistreatment by his family, ultimately causing him to run away. Sanji was taken in by Zeph, a former pirate captain turned chef, who taught him the ways of cooking and his unique martial art, the black leg style. This training molded Sanji into a formidable fighter who relies solely on his legs in combat to keep his hands pristine for cooking. Sanji's bounty is the third highest among the Straw Hats, standing at 330 million bellies. His combat prowess is evident in his victories over powerful foes such as Kurubi of the Arlong Pirates, Mr. Tu Bon Clay of Baroque Works, and Jabra of CP9. His strength has only grown since entering the New World, where he has taken on even more formidable opponents. After the two-year time skip, Sanji's abilities have significantly improved. He demonstrated his enhanced strength by breaking the neck of a pacifista with a single Diablo Jambe kick, something that would have severely injured him before. He also displayed incredible speed and agility, able to move so fast that powerful enemies like Charlotte Oven couldn't follow his movements. During the raid on Onigashima, Sanji and Marco managed to hold off two of the Beast Pirates All-Stars, King and Queen, buying time for Zoro to recover. Sanji then took on Queen, one of Kaido's top henchmen with a bounty of over one billion bellies, and defeated him, using his awakened genetic enhancements and powerful kicks. Sanji's sense of duty extends beyond fighting. He ensures the crew is well-fed and healthy, showcasing his exceptional culinary skills. His deep sense of chivalry and respect for women often influences his actions, leading him to protect them at all costs. Sanji's resilience, strength, and culinary expertise make him an invaluable member of the Straw Hat Pirates, constantly striving to fulfill his dream of finding the All Blue, a legendary sea said to contain every type of fish in the world. Nami, also known as Cat Burglar Nami, is the skilled navigator of the Straw Hat Pirates. She is the third member of the crew and the second to join, doing so during the Orange Town arc. Nami is also the adoptive sister of Nojiko, and they were both taken in by Bel Mare after being orphaned. Initially, Nami was a member of the Arlong Pirates, joining the Straw Hats with the intention of robbing them to buy back her village from Arlong. However, after the Straw Hats defeated Arlong, she genuinely joined their crew. Nami's dream is to create a map of the entire world, a goal that drives her passion for navigation and adventure. Nami first gained a bounty of 16 million bellies following the events at Eni's lobby and currently holds a bounty of 66 million bellies. As the navigator, she is responsible for charting the course of the ship and ensuring their safe passage through the treacherous Grand Line and New World Seas. Beyond her navigational duties, Nami acts as the crew's de facto treasurer, managing their money and budgeting their expenditures whenever they reach new locations. Her knowledge of weather patterns and navigation is unparalleled making her an invaluable asset to the crew. Nami is also one of the few crew members, aside from Sanji, with basic cooking skills, often preparing meals when necessary. Her strong willpower is evident in her ability to withstand Big Mom's Haoshoku Haki, a testament to her resilience and determination. Despite not being a primary combatant, Nami has proven her strength and resourcefulness in battle. She wields the climb attack, a weapon she uses to manipulate the weather and create powerful attacks. Over time, with upgrades and enhancements, her climb attack has become even more formidable, allowing her to take on stronger opponents. Nami's cunning and intelligence have helped the Straw Hats navigate numerous challenges, from avoiding dangerous weather phenomena to outsmarting formidable foes. Her loyalty to her crew and determination to achieve her dream make her an essential member of the Straw Hat Pirates. Roronoa Zoro has dedicated his life to becoming the world's greatest swordsman. As a former bounty hunter turned Straw Hat Pirate, 
Zoro has earned a reputation for his extraordinary skill and tenacity in battle. By the time he encountered Luffy, Zoro had already made a name for himself in the East Blue, earning the moniker Pirate Hunter due to his fearsome prowess. When Zoro dueled the world-renowned swordsman Dracula Myhawk, his former companions believed he would win due to his dominance over East Blue opponents. However, Zoro was thoroughly outclassed, leading to a vow never to lose again. This defeat only fueled his determination to improve and achieve his dream. Alongside Luffy and Sanji, Zoro is a key member of the Straw Hat Pirates' monster trio, known for their immense strength. Zoro's notoriety often rivals that of Luffy's, and he is sometimes mistaken for the leader of the Straw Hats due to his formidable reputation. Zoro was the second member of the crew to receive a bounty, which has consistently been among the highest. Currently, his bounty stands at 320 million bellies. His intimidating presence alone can cause weaker individuals to cower in fear, as seen when Kobe noted Zoro's demonic aura even while he was bound and starved in Shellstown. Ever since entering the New World, Zoro has rarely been injured or seriously challenged. His first real test came during a brief encounter with Admiral Fujitora, who acknowledged Zoro's ferocity, despite restraining him with gravitational force. Zoro's strength was further demonstrated when he swiftly defeated Pika, one of Don Quixote do Flamingo's top executives, by slicing through Pika's massive stone body and understanding his devil fruit powers. Zoro sustained his first significant injury in Wano while battling Kamazo, a fight that ended with Zoro's victory using a single powerful attack despite a surprise assault from Gyukimaru. During the raid on Onigishima, Zoro faced off against the Emperor Kaido, renowned as the world's strongest creature, and managed to wound him despite Kaido's incredible toughness. Zoro's commitment to his goal and unwavering resolve make him an indispensable member of the Straw Hat Pirates, constantly striving to surpass his limits and protect his crew. Monkey D. Luffy, as the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, wields the greatest authority over a remarkably powerful and diverse crew. Luffy's influence is profound, with every crew member trusting him implicitly despite his often reckless behavior. His leadership style and unwavering spirit inspire loyalty and dedication among his crew. Luffy is one of the 12 pirates known as the Worst Generation, a group notorious for their bold actions and significant conflicts against the world government, each with bounties exceeding 100 million bellies. Luffy's current bounty is 3 billion bellies, surpassing even the infamous Emperor Blackbeard, and matching the bounties of his fellow Worst Generation members, Kid and Law. Luffy's claim to fame includes numerous bold exploits. He invaded all three of the world government's main strongholds. In Eni's lobby, he single-handedly defeated a thousand Marines and two CP9 agents, leading to the destruction of Eni's lobby by a buster call. He infiltrated the great prison Impel Down, orchestrating its only mass breakout and played a crucial role in the Summit War at Marineford, aiding the Whitebeard Pirates in their attempt to rescue Portgus D. Ace. His defiance of the world government's balance of power is evident from his victories over three warlords of the sea, Crocodile, Gecko Moria, and Don Quixote do Flamingo. His alliances, like those with Jinbei and Trafalgar Law, have also caused significant shifts in the pirate world. Luffy's heritage as the son of Monkey D. Dragon, the Revolutionary Army's leader, further amplifies his threat in the eyes of the world government. Despite his formidable accomplishments, Luffy is frequently underestimated due to his appearance and carefree demeanor, an underestimation that often proves to be his advantage. Enemies like Crocodile and Don Quixote do Flamingo learned this the hard way as Luffy always managed to recover and ultimately defeat them. In the New World, Luffy has clashed with and defeated formidable opponents, such as Big Mom Pirates commanders Charlotte Cracker and Charlotte Katakuri. His ambition drives him to aim even higher, targeting the Emperors themselves as well as the Marine Admirals. Luffy's command extends over the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, a formidable alliance of seven New World pirate crews numbering 5,000 to 600 individuals. His official status as an emperor 
achieved after defeating Kaido, cements his position as one of the most powerful pirates in the world, a fact that has caused global panic. If you liked it, hit the like and subscribe button to see more videos of this type. A hug and see you in the next video.